so uh, Susan, that's a very interesting question because uh, uh, when we talk about mouse model, we are talking about diff many different things. So mouse model is uh, is uh, to, in a lay for layman's language. Mouse model is uh, what we call in vivo system, in which we are trying to recapitulate what happens to the human disease in a physiological setting. Okay, that's what a broad definition of mouse model is. But there are different kinds of mouse model. The, the one that is popularly used is called a xenograft model in which we put human cells in the mouse, in an immunocompromised mouse, where the human tumors can grow inside the mouse, okay? Now, the, the ones that we use is a bit different at least what we start uh, started with. It's called genetically engineered mouse models or JAM models, okay? And what we try to do, we try to under, first get the uh, information that what are the key genes that are mutated in human cancer. For example, there are these genes called KRAS and P53 that are commonly mutated. And Dave Tewson's lab uh, many years back uh, found a way to generate a mouse model that carries those particular point mutations. And those, uh, those mutations are activated only in the mouse pancreas. So it became a game model of pancreatic cancer. It also has a name called KPC model that I mentioned some time back. Uh, but this is a significantly different model than xenograft model which has human, uh, human cells or human tumors growing inside an immunocompromised mouse. But this model is a fully immunocompetent mouse in which we are only introducing and activating the mutations that are known to be present in the human, human cancer, pancreatic cancer. And when we activate that during the mouse development, the mouse generates spontaneous cancer okay spontaneous pancreatic cancer okay so this is also called an autochthonous model that means that you know we are we are re replicating what is happening in human being we are replicating in that in the mouse so uh, uh, that's the model we actually use uh, it's it's a bit time consuming, but it's a very faithful model to re recapitulate the human tumors.